Hey guys, got another little random review for you. This is a review of the all clad Belgian waffle maker. There's not a lot to it, you just got a dial in a darkness setting, so. one all the way to seven I found that two works the best for my waffles um, you got a power indicator light and then on the other side you've got a ready light that turns green and chimes when you're uh, up to temperature and then also when your waffles ready for whatever setting you've got it's made very very nice very heavy you got two little latches on either side that will lock the top closed. So you can transport it. Now they make a two square version of this. I opted for the four square. But the build quality and everything for the two square is just the same. You've got a little removable plastic tray here in the back. That's supposed to be for catching your drippings. And the first time I used it, I overfilled it and it actually worked. Caught most of the drippings that went out the back. So, very nice. Um, I know some other companies out there, Breville makes one of the other top. Uh, Belgian waffle uh, uh, makers out there and I opted against that one it was about the same price actually slightly more because it was too computerized um, I figured that the more computerization you have of something the more risk you have for it to go out um, you know if the screen goes out or something of the electronics goes out then you have a waffle maker that costs you 200 and you know, $50 or $40 or whatever it cost that doesn't work anymore. Um, sometimes simple is better, and I think this is a very elegant looking. Um, it weighs a ton. It's um, very, very uh, beefy made. So we'll make some waffles real quick, and hopefully they'll turn out. Now I've got my batter ready. Um, true Belgian waffle. Uh, batter is actually yeasted batter and so I prepared the batter the night before and then let it sit in the refrigerator and it's actually uh, been growing overnight it's doubled in size at least okay so we're up to temperature a couple quick little tips is that unlock these before you turn your thing on because they do get very hot so you don't want to burn yourself uh, flip the, the lid open and I've got this set to setting two just depending on how much sugar content you have on your waffle maker uh, just dep depends on how dark they will get so I have a, on a lighter setting because I have a little bit more sugar in the waffles and also remember when you first turn this thing on I would turn it all the way up to high and let this sit for a while and let it burn off any of the uh, packing material grease and stuff that's on the non-stick surface because um, when it first turns on it'll start to steam and smoke a little bit and it kind of stinks so I would let this sit there for a while I wouldn't use any kind of abrasive cleaners, any soap. The lady at the store told us not even to use soap and water on it. Um, so maybe make a waffle, the first waffle, maybe even a throwaway waffle, just to make sure that you don't have any of the, you know, the grease or whatever was left over from the manufacturing process on it. But after it, it's done doing all that, you're ready to go. So I think we're ready to go here. See if I can do this one-handed. And this is a new recipe, so hopefully it doesn't stick something terrible. My 
last recipe I used was one that I am comfortable with and didn't have any problems with it sticking. So we'll see. So while this is still cooking, you can see that there's no dripping around the edges, but I did overfill the thing and it runs out the back very nicely. So it does make cleanup a lot nicer than a traditional waffle maker that you know you overfill and it goes everywhere. So it's done. Let's see if it's stuck and made a horrible mess. Oh, nope. Oh yes, very nice. Kind of hard to do this one-handed. But yep, you get the idea. The all-clad Belgian waffle maker makes beautiful waffles. And so far I've been very, very happy with it.